We're now joined on the dais by Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza and student athlete Fiona Fitzgerald. Coach, if you'd like to make an opening statement and then we'll take questions. Um, it's a, a tough one to swallow. Um, you know, um, couldn't really get any shots to fall down for us. Had a few defensive laps, um, but it's, it's just a tough one for us. Um, you know, we so wanted to, to get to that championship game. Um, but, um, you know, hats off to USF. Questions? Uh, Tanya, how much of a factor was their inside play, especially in the first half? Um, you know, it, uh, Henshaw, she, she scored a lot in the first half, but that was taking away possessions from their guards. Um, you know, I thought we did a really good job of limiting, um, you know, their, their touches. And the option was to go inside. Uh, I thought first half we did a really good job of guarding 33, guarding 12, and not allowing them to get anything. So they had to find another option, and that's the one they went with. Um, and she did a really good job. You know, she's a really good freshman. Um, you know, she played well, and we tried to take it at her and get her in foul trouble um, to get her out of the game. And, I mean, that part worked. Um, but, yes, uh, that was a, a tough matchup. Um, but she's a hell of a player. Coach, in, in the back half of the second half, it looked like the offense was go down, make a couple passes, and have somebody shoot from the outside, despite the fact that those weren't dropping the whole game. Was that the defense? Was that a plan? It um, just No, I mean, the way that we play, we try to get to the basket, and they're not going to allow us to get to the basket. I mean, they had pretty much five guys standing in there. Um, but we're trying to get some dribble penetration. but. Uh, the help was there, so I think we settled. I mean, we talked about putting the ball on the floor, that they can't contain us off the bounce. Uh, I felt like we just start second-guessing ourselves, thinking that it wasn't going to be open. But every time we got in there, we got something good, whether it was a foul or a layup. But for whatever reason, we were second-guessing that option. And that was the game plan. The game plan was to dribble penetrate and make them have to guard us off the bounce. But, um, I mean, for whatever reason, we settled for the, the jump shot. Tanya, would you comment on the play of Tanae Atkinson tonight? Um, I thought she did a really good job, you know. I thought she, um, you know, she was concentrating, finishing, uh, rebounding the basketball. She's been doing, you know, this all year. And it's, it's almost like people are just noticing her because she's in the starting lineup. but. These numbers that she has, this is what she's been doing, you know, the whole season. I mean, it's a kid that's 5'9", who by the time she graduates is going to grab 1,000 rebounds. So that says a lot about, about her, that she's undersized, but she's going to play wherever we need her. She's going to come off the bench if we need her. She's going to start like she's just going to do whatever her team needs uh, uh, her to do. Um. Martin, I'm sorry, I can't remember if her Sophia. Name. Sophia Martin was three of four, but she had only one shot attempt in the second half. How was it that you couldn't get her inside in the second half? Was um, that Sophia is not an option, really, on the offensive really? side. Um, her, her points came off of putbacks. Um, so, you know, she's out there to play defense, um, you know, rebound the basketball. And, you know, I thought she did a really good job of, you know, hanging around the basket and, and getting some easy dump-ins. Tanya, you guys were close uh, right up until the fourth quarter, then the beginning of the fourth quarter, and then they went on that run. Was that the defensive lapses you were talking about? Yeah, I just felt like, you know, as a coach, I'm always paying attention to what's going on down there. And there was so many times where we had two guys chasing after one and leaving someone wide open. So I just know that the communication wasn't there um, and just weren't paying attention. And it happened way too often. Um, and because of that, they're able to get inside and now able to get easy shots or dump downs. Um, but again, if we communicate, those guys are not wide open. 
Fiant, if you want to talk about your play over the course of the last couple games here in the tournament. Is he okay to do that? If you want to talk about your play over the last couple games in the tournament. Um, you know, I'm just out there doing whatever I have to do. I'm very competitive, so I'm out there doing whatever, whatever I have to do to help my team win a basketball game, you know, whether it's, you know, diving on the floor on defense or, you know, um, scoring the ball or finding an open teammate. Whatever it is I have to do, I'm just trying to make sure I get it done. Stuff as this is right now, uh, Tanya, in previous years, looking over the next couple of weeks to come, uh, when you left here, things may have been more dicey as far as NCAA prospects. Do you feel, you know, you got a lot more heft in your profile this time than you had on your seat? How do you, how do you feel? Uh, um, I mean, I, 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 we're a little more confident sitting here knowing that we, we did our work, but this was one of those games that could take you to another level, a different seed possibly, depending on what happens with other um, teams. So that was one of the reasons why we really, really want to get to the championship game for seeding purposes. Um, and, you know, to be able to compete for a championship, this would have been an opportunity um, to compete for a championship. Um, but, yes, we, I think we're pretty confident that um, we should be selected. Um, I'd be really disappointed if we weren't. Thank you. Okay.